Hey, hey everyone. All right. I am playing a little bit of Minecraft today. Um, I figured instead of jumping straight into the world, I'd show off a little bit of my uh, creative sort of test world um, where I try to come up with different contraptions for automation and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to jump into that first, then I'm going to uh, jump onto the actual server. So every time I create a new server, I usually create a new test world to kind of go along with it. So as I need to build something, I come into the creative world and kind of test things out. I'm going to kind of point you over here. This is one of my earlier chicken farms. Um, it's not 100% foolproof, especially with chunk loading and whatnot. Sometimes the dispenser doesn't fire off. It works, though, in a pinch. Hey, Kaya, welcome to the stream. I'm doing a little bit of show off of my, my test world before jumping onto the actual server. Um, this is um, actually a design I saw someone else build. I like the compactness with the uh, observers um, being a little cheeky with just getting the, uh, the repeater, not repeater, there was, uh, oh, now I'm just blanking out, uh, the comparator, um, and just getting a state change on it. it made sense. Um, wanted to, I found some issues with this, with the blade, sometimes uh, the lava blade in this dispenser not working 100% of the time. Started experimenting a little bit. Um, wanted that uh, chicken coop feel for the world that I'm playing in. Played around with a little bit of a, a, a hopper clock over here. Very basic. The, it freezes the hopper. Um, trying to get around the unloading of chunks and whatnot. You can see me playing around with extending the lava blade a little bit. Um, and then finally came up uh, on landing on this design. Um, I'm a big fan of the repeater dispenser, quick firing. Um, and this one is what we got on the, on the world. Uh, this is that same chicken coop that folks saw me build on stream. Uh, tree farm. So this is the one I built for the uh, lumber mill that I designed on last stream. Uh, I think I made a little bit of tweaks here and there. I, I futzed around with it a couple of times. I came up uh, with this. Uh, I saw similar designs. Um, I started looking at compacting it a little bit using um, observers instead of redstone. That way there's not a, a block update every single time with lighting. Um, actually ended up going this route a little bit just because of the materials. Yeah, um, so uh, this tree farm is very manual in that approach because you stand here, you plant it, and you bone mill it manually, right? But you, you can just pretty much just hold down buttons and it'll just do it and push the logs over. And as it gets to a certain point, when a, um, a block is here, the redstone signal goes to the block uh, and fires off the redstone. So I had to give you an idea. Uh, let's say those were logs. Um, you can see kind of pushing it over, right? Keeps doing it. And then the next one is going to cause this, the, the redstone to push it out like that. So uh, not fully automated in the sense of you know, automatic uh, TNT dropping, destroying the trees, collecting them in a water pool. Um, th that'll come. Um, but since I'm so early, I'm starting on automation on the server we just started. Um, I, I start small and as I expand, I make it bigger. All right. Uh, last stream, we were t I was talking a lot about bamboo. Uh, bamboo and sugar cane. So did a lot of different iterations and testing here. Um, I use red and green wool on successful and failed tests. Um, for example, this one on why it's it's failed. If you notice, they're fully grown. Observers are below because I wanted to see whether or not the state changed every single time um, a new a stock is grown up. And it doesn't. It's not foolproof. It does on some instances, but at a certain point, the bottom block at a certain height does not update, which means pistons don't fire. Uh, these yellow wools, this is just to track the signal. So as I've, I'm working on the next one and I see these pop out, I know that, hey, I'm not, I don't have to watch it 100% of the time. <laughs> well, you more, like I said, you're more welcome to hang out. We've got uh, folks that join and, and leave all the time. Um, I'm, like I said, this is just kind of a quick rundown. I'll jump on the server so you can get a little bit of a, an idea on what we're working with. Um, again, here's another little, this is more compact just to see retesting the larger expanded array over here just to see if this actually worked and it didn't um double testing length of stream you can see here's another test this time um a little bit more compact still fail wouldn't uh, fire off the piss 100 percent of the time this one does uh does work but it relies on a single stock 
getting to the top, right? Which means these guys over here are kind of idling, waiting for that last stock. It works. It's not 100% lossless. So you can see stocks on the ground not being collected. Uh, this is a lossless one um, because uh, Hopper Minecarts can collect through a single block anything that hits the ground, and this is only one block wide. It's going to hit the ground regardless. Um, it does use the the last, you know, a single stock being uh, fully grown to actually drop. Um, but I may actually this is one I probably will build on the server. Um, that way I'm not losing any any drops. I was playing around with water streams. Um, had an issue with uh, them bouncing off to the other side. You know, they're trying to share the same channel. Um, you see some get caught on the edge because the water stream is not high enough. And I'll, I can have a couple examples. I used iron bars originally, but then realized when a piston extends, an iron bar connects to it, which means there is a possibility of a freaking sugar cane or whatever sitting right on top of it because of that connection. And it doesn't fall through, but gates do not. And they still do the same blocking. That way they're not propelling the drops onto the other side. Problem is you, you still get stuff like this. Uh, this one, a little bit more testing. Instead of using the piston arm or piston head to push it over, I put a block in front of it to see since that's a solid block. See if that did anything different. As you can see, it did not. Uh, then over here, what did I do? Oh, over here, instead of doing uh, observer detection, just a simple hopper clock, right? Um, I have it on a timer to see if uh, that way I'm not waiting for one particular uh, stock to grow. I could do uh, observers across the entire top. Uh, that means it's just firing off more, getting some false positives. Uh, played around in a small compact one, right? Lossless, just hopper minecarts underneath. They collect, immediately drop stuff. I do like the design, um, but I was hoping to expand on it. And I try one or somewhere around here. I tried where expanding this to the right. Hopper minecarts get really finicky when you shove that many of them um, next to next to each other. Uh, just testing redstone signal of strength. Over here, doing the test to see whether or not I can. Uh, this is more for sugarcane because sugarcane does change. Uh, it updates quite a bit if it can grow one block high. It does not change state if it can't grow higher. Uh, try to do some more tests with the bamboo. As you can see, the bottom one did not push out, which means it's not updating the state. Top one does because it starts as an air block and then gets um, filled in. Uh, what do I got over here? This is the sugarcane version um, of a couple of ideas. This actually works with sugarcane. Does not work with bamboo. So I can have the observer on the first block and this will constantly fire off. Uh, not 100% lossless because sometimes they can fall on... Uh, the block that they're actually growing from. Uh, so I started playing around with water streams. Uh, I did a cutout here. So if you put a water stream up here, if these were all solid blocks, it would actually wash out the sugar cane, which doesn't help. But I do know mechanics around water uh, in Minecraft where it likes to say where other water is. Um, so I put a, actually a, a row of uh, water underneath it and then waterlogged um, some sa half slabs and end capped them with stairs so the water doesn't flow out and that keeps the sugarcane hydrated and then you can put a single uh, source block up here and if you notice it's the same level as the sugarcane but does not wipe it out um this is closer to lossless but occasionally you still get stuff um caught on the actual uh growing block uh kind of similar design I had on the sugarcane or the bamboo over there just trying to play around with capturing, sharing streams, trying to save a little bit of resource to make it a little bit more compact. Yeah, it's still not 100%. Went to, uh, I, f I did a little bit of test because I was like, well, if I can get the water stream not to be, be on the same level as what's being grown and then follow the same channel, right? What I did on this cutout over here. Um, can I do that with having sugar cane at the end, right? Um, but as you can see, the moment it gets past sugar cane, it uh, just goes back to normal flowing. Um, so sugarcane has different properties in bamboo. Good to know. Uh, I thought I could maybe leverage the block state on the first stem of the sugarcane, use that as a trigger to, to get the bamboo. And it doesn't quite work. Similar design that I have right over there. Just trying to capture it, right? Nice and simple, compact. Um, then this one is probably the one I'm going to end up building. It's lossless because of the... Uh, 
the minecart underneath all it does is vacuum up everything that falls on the ground so notice there's no channels of water um, other than uh, the actual source blocks to keep the sugarcane uh, growing so these are kind of the ideas um, I started I do want to make a pumpkin and melon farm played around with the single station and eh, this one's kind of failed I it, uh, I played around a couple of iterations with this didn't quite out work the way I wanted to you can see here um, expanding on that um, it does work it's just slow right because I'm only growing from one stem so looked over here uh, pretty much uh, did an entire row of it this works really well again lossless uh, because the mine cards going underneath picking up from the this row and this row because sometimes they can be pushed into that and I just have a piston breaking the melon or or, or pumpkin um, I'll probably end up building this one and then I just have a, a standard if that's full of blocks comes up here um, hopper gets activated prepare, um, puts the signal there turns off the redstone signal repeater blah 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 it essentially keeps this uh, the minecart here until it fully unloads and you can see how that works so that's this is what I do in between streams um, anytime I talk about oh I need to automate something or I need to um, I want another I want a farm or something so what I'll come what I'll do is I'll make a mention of it in the stream right I'm not gonna I don't tend to I mean I do build live right I can't just copy and paste this stuff in here but I like to do a little bit of testing I want to see if hey maybe there's something that changed in a patch or something that changed in a version um, maybe something that I built previously can be you know optimized um, and then I start I just pick a row like this empty row here and I just start building out and trying to test um, different states of, of blocks and how they work so with that said I'm going to jump over to our actually uh, survival world so let me do that oh how about I go to multiplayer uh, we got self glitter and tinks online so I'm going to go and join them oh anytime yeah you're more than welcome to I, I appreciate the 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 follow um and I appreciate you um popping in feel free to poke at me at any point in time also the first person with that oh well that's good <laughs> I'm sorry that you run across a couple of folks without mics I know it's rough at times I'm sure that there are tons of great streamers out there all right hey tinks hi hi all right let's see what did i do all right ex let's see last last stream i had started this side of this pond right and i was trying to play around with sort of a palette to choose a kind of a, a mood a feel so i did i liked um how it turned out right and then i started expanding this um same type of like you know bushes little stone outcroppings yeah, I know this is a pressure plate, but it looks like a flat stone, right? Uh, brought some of the little bushes into the water. Kind of carried this over. Didn't want to do too much behind here yet because we've got some stuff back here that's going to eventually move and I need to figure out what I want to build. Same kind of little puddles that I details that I got on that side. Um, brought in a couple of more sea pickles um, because at night I wanted to have a little more ambience to the water. Build up this little area over here. Right. Um, did some trimming on this inlet to this pond. Um, if you notice, uh, the cobblestone mess <laughs> pathing that we did on last stream, I went ahead and literally just squashed it into the ground. Um, so created that same feel. Oh, where are you at? Yeah, hi. Oh, totally missed him. Hey, it's only one of you this time. What are you doing? Like loopy loops? All right, fine. You're gonna drop your membrane? Yes. I can use that later. So um, we'll start over here. Um, so path coming over here. Going to build a bridge. I'd like to do that today on this stream. Um, got this cobblestone here because I mentioned uh, I forked the uh, the path over here because I wanted to connect it over there or to that block. So if you can tell, I went ahead and added this uh, the cobblestone all the way now to our our you know our strip mine that's going that's down there um didn't do anything inside here other than close it up a little bit because there's some gaps gave it a little bit of uh rock face didn't add the you know the different gradients of the textures when i just needed something uh just as an outline hey zombies what are you guys doing 
Yep. Nope. Stay over there. This is my small little bamboo forest. Yep. Um, add a little bit of uh, greenery. Uh, still, I'm gonna have to play around. Maybe remove a couple of these. I want this a little bit to look a little thicker. I don't want. I like the. You can see some things, but I think this is exposing too much. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, I, I didn't act. First of all, I didn't realize that bamboo could be broken by sticks. That's good to know. Um, I might limit the height on a couple of these, put a little string on top of it, but I can do that at a later time. I'm not too worried about that. Um, uh, again, kind of built up the greenery. Want to do something up there. I'm not sure if I want to bring the stonework up there. I might. We'll see how that goes. Um, I do want to add a little more detail to the path. Right now it's all flat. Um, and I'm sure folks have I'm tuned in. I'm not a big fan of flat. The texture helps alternating, right? But uh, I'm I like the adding little stones, right? Little gravel stones, little potholes uh, to give it a little bit of feel that hey, this isn't just a you know a paved road, especially because I'm all over in the mountain region. All right, what else? Oh, I hear you somewhere. Okay. Uh, been talking about almost from stream one or two um, about this rock, right? Splitting this water coming down here. So I, I went ahead and gave it some shape. Uh, I might, I don't know, I might stick this out a little bit further, but I like how it gets wide here, narrows off to our little pond, and uh, will uh, narrow off into this sort of wetlands lower region. I didn't do the trimming on this side because I still got work. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Goodbye, Mr. Creeper. Uh, because we're still doing the, the lumber mill, right? So I didn't want to do too much detail here until I can fit the water wheel in, um, get the shape to this building. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. Uh, what else did we talk about? Oh, the small little path. I, I like, like to keep my farms near, I guess, the theme of the section uh, of the area you're in. So this is going to be uh, probably what I'll work on the stream today. Um, some of the contraptions I built on uh, in my creative world for testing, I'm going to bring. I'm going to come. I'm going to go down a little bit further and make the bamboo farm down here. Um, that way, you know, if I ever if someone needs bamboo and I can tell them, hey, just go to the little bamboo forest on the right. There's a little maintenance entryway. Um, you can collect some bamboo down there. So what else do we got? I th oh, uh, the path right. So cobblestone. A uh, little pathway that I made or that I put above ground. You can see I, I I actually gave a detail, right? So now I can actually walk up here. And I don't like you sitting up there. I just got folks all over the place today. This is probably the most mobs I've seen in my area in quite some time. And not due to the fact of lighting, just I haven't seen mobs spawn in my area. Get away. Uh, my area is apparently popular. Now my mountain's on fire. All right, so pulled up the stream over here. Um, I'll talk about the little chicken coop over here. Um, brought it up here and then ended it here. Ended it here. Um, did not do any work on sort of that, you know, staircase going up and down. Good Lord. I, I appreciate all the visitors, but you guys can just stay over there. Uh, the blacksmith. Uh, f uh, footprint here. Didn't do any of that. And I want to do that on stream. Pathing and whatnot, I'll probably do off stream. There's not a lot of entertainment. It's just watching me put down, you know, a collection of gray blocks. Uh, but um, this, I'm fine with doing this off stream. I don't think you guys are really missing anything. Chicken coop. I talked about wanting a sort of a more natural fence line, right? Maybe this is one of the older sort of uh, livestock um, things that were, at, um, were added um, in this area. And now eternal daylight. Um, this is kind of what I was what I was thinking, right? Some natural stonework on the back because I'm, you know, cutting to the cliff side. Um, making sure chickens can't get out on anywhere. So at least a block and a half tall. I don't think they can get out. I mean, if I can't jump on this, I'm pretty sure chickens can't. So I should that should be safe. I kind of ran around uh, testing different areas where I could possibly jump on um, and I don't think chickens can squeeze through that. I suppose I should probably grab some. I'm not going to take them out of that, but I should probably test that. 
but add a little bit of lighting because I don't want creeper boys and zombies and skeletons to spawn in here. Um, but I like I like how this turned out. I want to keep this theme on on a couple of the other things. Not a huge fan of using fences, just literally wood fences in a block area. It, it works, right? So I'm not gonna knock it. Um, but I've been playing Minecraft for a very, very long time. Uh, I like adding a little bit of detail. Okay, what else do we got? Um, I think, oh, uh, last little bit. Um, I did collect uh, some more arrows and bones from uh, the skeleton farm from self, self's area. Um, I do have 35 levels. I was um, tinkering around in Tinks's zombie farm just to feed one of the villagers there to get a little bit more emeralds because I do want to eventually get uh, some mending on uh, my axe and my shovel. So that will be coming soon. And again, I kind of do that off off stream. Just you guys don't need to um, sit there and watch me smack, you know, zombies feet and try to get XP. You know, I'm sitting there for 30 minutes, 40 minutes or whatever. Uh, let me drop this thing off. Drop a couple of zombie fleshies off. Oh, uh, more flatstone, right? I did not do any more work in our enchanting room slash library. Um, the work that the construction wall back there, um, I would like to do that on stream because I have a really cool idea for that. Closet is still a closet. Eventually brewing room. Okay. Let me grab some wood. I should probably chop down some trees. And I'll probably do that. Um, let's get a little bit of spruce. Let's see if we can get a little creative. Oh, I did do one more thing, and I'll show that in a second. Uh, with a little bit, a little bit of walking path bridges, right? Um, nothing overly fancy. Uh, let's grab some of that. Let's go ahead and grab. Do I need any? Yeah, let's let's get some some stairs of spruce. Okay, that looks good. That will. Oh no, actually, I do want to grab. Do I have any trap doors? I do not. Well, oh, making some trap doors. Uh, I do want some spruce trap doors. That is a plank, not a strap door. Trap door, strap door. I'm gonna need more than that. That looks good. Let's get some oak ones in here. I use those quite a bit, so I'm grabbing quite a few of those. Torches, lanterns, that all works. Eventually, all lanterns will be pretty much replaced unless they actually make sense. Uh, last thing I did, let me get over here. Nothing new over here. And come down here. Look, look at that. Coming together. I built up that little this little rock. Added a little bit of you know uh, sea pickles, some coral, or what are they called? These things, the planty stuff that comes off of the corals. Um, added some detail around here. Right, got the wharf dedicated. The kachow. Woohoo! Uh, we've got uh, details, little end caps, right? A little mismatch. I wanted this to be, feel like it's it's a little greeting area. What in the world? Can I help you, Mr. Fishy? Okay, that's just just we didn't see that. Um, so yeah, added a little of detail, right? Um, not all of these are matching, on purpose. Um, little barrels, chests, little tables. Um. As people come into the, you know, a dock of their boat, get onto the wharf, you got a couple of work benches and tables available to people to use quickly. Um, kind of give more, you know, more life to here. I do want to add, like, maybe some type of, I, this is not done, that end cap, because uh, that's going to be my, again, my fishing spot. I want to add color, um, and I think I'm going to do that with uh, maybe some banners or flags or whatnot. Um, Tinks did graciously provide me some wool from her sheep farm, so I've got that in, in my storage. Just not gonna do that today. Um, wanted to kind of show this off. Let's go make some mini bridges or for the walkways. That way I'm not constantly ju uh, jumping over the stream. 
And I think what I'm going to do is start with probably the easier of the two. Not this one, because that one's going to be built at an angle. Well, I guess this one technically would too. Hmm. All right, let's see what we can come up with. We're going to go with something basic first, so kind of flattish. And that's fine. And then we can I'll look at replacing blocks and whatnot. Uh, how wide do I want this? I kind of like that, that shape. Hmm. If I go any wider... Yeah, see that... I mean... Oof. Okay. That is a... That is a bit too wide for that little area. So let's get rid of these. And these don't need to be over complicated. They just need to be something basic. Uh, what options do we got here? They're half slab. Maybe I do make them have a little bit of a, an arch to them. Raise them up by one block. Let's see what that looks like. I do. Maybe we can have some little bit of fun with this. If I raise this up, it might be a wider than I actually want it to be, but we'll see. Hmm. You know what? I think because we have so little room to play, this is not one of those instances where we actually make a diagonal. So let's grab my resources. And we're gonna cut across, which I think is fine. Uh, if I cut across here. Oh, that's not, that's not the direction I wanted it to go to, but let's play around with that a little bit. All right, and then fix, come on, come on. this direction. How does this look? Ooh, that's interesting little detail. Hmm. Do I want to keep that? What does it look like on this side if I do that? All right, and then come down. And I'll make sure people don't walk straight off to the, uh, to the uh, river. I mean, it's, it's not bad. Kind of looks like it's uh, uh, what is it? Are they like uh, support beams underneath? Yeah, I mean, that could work. I'll have to angle the path a little bit, which I'm okay with doing. I don't really want to cut further into here. And then what we can do, because we can't put planks in here, otherwise, I can't walk into this. We do something little handrail. Ooh, that that might work. It's quaint. Mm, what else can we do? All right, let's uh, replace a couple of these. Let's give it a little, a little color to it. Make those. And... Hey, Canadian Carla, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the... <laughs> welcome to me playing, placing blocks. <laughs> playing essentially virtual Lego. <laughs> How's it going? Are you just uh, checking out the folks' uh, streams today? Is that what's going on? All right, let's go ahead and extend. Let's get let's get some water flowing through here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I have to change this path a little bit, and I'm okay with doing that. Carla, are you having a good day? Oh, you sent me a Discord message? Okay, um, I will check that out. I'm only, I'm streaming for a little bit. 
um is it something that i need a urgent you need my eyes on like right now or uh can i respond to you later as in like later after i'm you know finished stream here or whatnot if you need me to take a look at it now i can just open discord oh not urgent awesome I'll let uh, Tinks know. I think she's listening in as well. Uh, Tinks, you got a message there for Discord as well. On uh, bah, 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 from Canadian Carla. Oh, yep, there you go. All right, uh, let's give some character to this. I need to figure out how to build this side up. Ooh, maybe I can do. Oh. No, you got where I hear you guys. Where are you at? Oh, wow, right in my face. Go away. Shoo. Apparently trying to build. Oh my god. You. Get out of that bamboo forest. <laughs> yeah, definitely, Carla. Okay. This is looking good. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I. Did not replace this with the correct block. Let's, uh, this was supposed to actually. Mm, no, let, let's, let's do that. Whoever replaced this, <clears throat> me, um, may have just not paid attention at the time. I, um, you know, when they were building this and I don't know, the weather got to it. Um, maybe I didn't have stairs available to me in my workshop at the time. That That's the story we're sticking with. Um, it works. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't want this to go straight off to the right. Maybe we hook this off a little bit. Oh my goodness. How many are you? It's just a party day. Go away. One there. You. Oh, I just barely missed him. There we go. Got him. Ooh, Enderman up there. Kind of checking in on our progress. And there he goes. He's gone. All right, uh, more fiddling. What can I do with this? If I move this here, does that just look weird? Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. Uh, how am I gonna replace this? I guess I have to do this. Oh, get up here. How does this look? It's always interesting to add a lot of detail, right? In a small confined area. And still work in, you know, a full block space. Do I like that better or do I like it with the handrails fully across? I think I like it with the handrails fully across. I think the detail with this, these little struts underneath here, um, it's totally fine. Lots of jumping around in water. Yeah. Oh. More guests. Lots more guests. I really should probably sleep in the bed to avoid the guests. Ooh, ooh, dodgy. Got that guy. Any more of you guys? <laughs> Take your protection from my little... Those are phantoms. Well, there was a zombie there. I know they're phantoms. They're guests. They're, they're, they're allowed to come visit. They're just not allowed to stay very long. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and, and... Oh, guests. <laughs> no. Guests. Be... Was it Be My Guest? Uh, I can't... I actually now don't know the song. The words to the song. Be Our Guest. That's what it is. Alright, sleeping in the bed. All right, what do we got? Let's not die to phantoms, guests, or ghasts. 
heard a random arrow of fire over here. Is there a skeleton bro somewhere? No. Okay. Let's get back to cleaning this a little bit up. Let's get this path reconnected. So coming off this, we're going to cut into over here. Which means... Alright, let's see what blocks do I have available on me. Because I kind of tore up everything now. Uh, uh, I want... Let's jut this over here. We can pick up this one. And... That might work, maybe. Ooh. Don't want that right next to each other. I got some andesite. That works. So let's fill that in. We'll make this a small little path there. And of course, I'm going to need more block. Actually, I'll just fill this in for dirt right now. Maybe what I do is actually bring extend this out a little bit more, or I can put something here. We'll, we'll I'll figure that out. But this, not a big fan of that. Uh, let's see if we can do something about that. Um, I'm gonna do this for right now. Might have to put a block there, but. Let's trim this side up with some stone, kind of the same thing I did on this. So let me grab some of those blocks. Yeah, let me do that. I want to, before I build this bridge, I want to get a good feel on what this one's going to look like. My inventory is going to be a mess. Let's drop that off. Uh, we'll probably need a little bit of grass block, so let's grab a little bit of that. Spare torches can go in there. All right. Stone. Stone's all good. Cobblestone. Let me just cap that off because I want to mix that in there. We'll get some gravel and andesite. I don't want to mix anything else in here. I will probably come come through those paths and, and depending on like how much detail and structures around it. Because I want I want a bit of you know this you're not gonna really find a lot of wood pathing. And because I, I, I want to kind of stick with the theme, I'm in the mountains. As you see, there's no trees around my area other than my you know, collection over there. I might bring a tree or two over here. Um, but I wanted to kind of challenge myself. I think trees make it really easy to hide things and break line of sight. Uh, I want to play around with the terrain and then actually put trees in that makes sense to whoever actually maybe lived in this area. Because honestly, that tree right there is about the only natural tree <laughs> that existed when I came over here. I had to go to the other biomes to bring in the other stuff. All right, let's replace this edge. All right, so a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Uh, let's get that on the hot bar. Don't want, do not want dirt exposed to the river bed, river bed side. Lots of grays, but we'll make it work. I do want a, an extra block here. Uh, let's do something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll do this there. That way you've got some, you know, person's not just going to walk off here and go, oh my god, and, you know, break their ankle and fall into the water. Mm, okay, so let's bring this all the way down to here. Hey, Slowpoke, how's it going? Oh, and yeah, we're making progress. Making slow progress. Got some more paths down. Um, a lot more detail. I love how this is turning out. I don't have um, in between, like, it's not going to be just flat grass. Want more to do with what, how I got uh, the detail over by the pond. 
Okay, let's see what we got. And I don't mind a little bit on it. I just want the water side um, to be more rock and gravelly. Um, uh, let's, I want to extend this a little bit more. And actually, I think I can pull that off by using stairs and not using a whole full block. So I think I'm going to leave this here. Alright, so full path, you can get a path there, go towards the sugar cane farm over there. My mine shaft is going that direction. And let me let me get this side of the little block there, there. That, that looks good. Some gravel there. You know, water hitting on the side of it. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I can put some reeds or something like that around it. Kind of like what I got going here, but bring it a little closer. And if that's the case, I'm going to leave this side alone. Kind of what, I, like I mentioned earlier in the stream, I don't want to immediately, you know, cover the, the, the river bank or the stream bank, whatever you want to call it, um, with, you know, this kind of detail until I know what goes in that spot. So like this wood mill with the, the water wheel here, I know I'm going to be removing some of this and I'm going to, have to kind of reshape this. So instead of putting all the effort and putting detail around here and ripping it back up, let's, let's leave it blank at first and then come back to that. All right. So I got a nice little, little bridge here. I do want to extend this. Does this make sense to have be there? Now nah, we can do that. Let's pull this back a little bit. Give us ourselves a little bit more room. Uh, we'll do that, mix that in there. And then I guess we don't technically need to go all the way to here. Right. And then we can, I can play around with this edge, but that does give us a little bit more room. Yeah, let's do that. To put some greenery, maybe a bench or something like that. I don't know. We can figure out. We can fill in these. The filling in the small spaces are easy. All right, so we got the path going that way, going across the small old um, bridge there. Now, what are we gonna do about this one? All right, need a bridge across here. We have a lot more room to play around with this. Hmm, are we gonna? We're going to run into the same issue that I have with that one, where I wanted a diagonal. But maybe a straight one makes a lot more sense. That's what we've got here. I don't want to cut, I don't want a person to run into the rock, right? Or do I raise that area a little bit so I have a little, even more room to do? Ooh, maybe that's what I'll do. Okay. This is going to look weird first. But I'm going to, let's see, if I do one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Let's go with four. If I start at one, two, three, four, come across, or do I go all the way to here? Uh, let's put some blocks down. How about that? Uh, if I do start from here, if we do it four wide. How's that? How's that? What, what type of room am I getting here? Raise it up a little bit, come down, and then raise, bring this out. I mean, I don't have anything up here, so that might work. Okay. Let's get a, sh let's get, let's get a design down. How about that? Wouldn't mind this being covered. Or that'd be too much. No, it wouldn't be too much. Uh, what can we do here? So I'm going to closer to the edge. Yeah, let's do that. I don't need to come in all that all this way. Don't need the stone on my hot bar right now, so let's move that around. <laughs> oh, the log's gonna be too much. We'll play. We'll play. That's what we'll do. Oh, 
that's not where I wanted you at. What kind of shape can I give you? Maybe we can do... Mm, no, I'm not gonna mess with that yet. Did I raise you by one more? That's half slab, that's full slab. No, we don't want to raise you because I want to actually want to use fence line. I want to be able to place so things don't float in the air. And of course, I need a workbench. Let's grab a couple more of you. If I come over to that, this length. I'm not totally in love with the, uh, the, again, color tone is going to change as I just get a shape. I'm looking for a good shape right now. More half slabs. What is that? One, two, three, four. And then the stair drop. So something like this. Okay. Let's do that for now. Not a lot of texture to this. So what uh, what if I do this? Uh, now let's see if we can get some detail to this. Uh, let's remove these. I hear you, spider. Hello. Thank you. Hey. Well. Thank you. So we add those there. I know I just I, I know I just put those down there now they're now being replaced. Now Okay. Now I want this to go into this area here. Right? I don't want it to I don't like the idea of floating. I don't this is okay with it um on a solid block. This not so not so much. Uh, what do I got down here? Okay, I, if I remove that, move this, put the spruce down there because it's wet, right? Ugh, the stupid bushes are always going to get me. And come to think about it, I am going to do this. Uh, I like the discoloration of the wood there making it look like it's been uh, getting a lot of water. How much does it? Ooh, that works. No, no, no. Yeah, I like that. I like there's a little bit of... Cuts into the stream a little bit, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't cut off the water. Okay, so what am I going to do with the top portion of this? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to let that... So let me do... Let me pick all this stuff up and not just cover it and get some of the materials back here and kind of reshape this. Need my gravel back. I am gonna run out of inventory spots. That's fine, give me this back. I really should just make a chest, but I'm not gonna do that now. Right, and we want to raise the path. I pull it back a little bit more. Okay. And put that there. What do we got for raising the path? Let's go with that. Okay. 
Let's get some stone over here. Do a little healthy little mixture. That's looking good. Uh, do I have more gravel. Okay, I'm liking how that's turning out. Let's pull this back a little bit. Mm. Where's andesite? There's andesite. No reason for the path to come up to that edge. I mean, what are we gonna do with you? Oh, bush! Stick it off. Bad bush. So let's change the direction of that. Uh, I need to pick that up. Give me. And of course, I just comes right back. Mm, I think that works. Put another little little piece there. How about we put another andesite block there? Still easy to go up and down. Don't like this drop though. I don't mind putting you there. Let's get the detail blocks out. Put you there. Put the little loose stone there. I know it's a button. Hmm. Do I like that? Yeah. I think this will work. Paths goes to a smaller bridge, larger, more detailed bridge. Now, what do we want to do with this one? I want to add some. I actually do want to add some fences, but. Uh, I'm going to try trapdoors first to see what this looks like. Let's come over here on my little, my little landing over here. Oh, I wish there were more trapdoor options that are a little more transparent and not obnoxious colors. Um, Yeah, we're not we're not gonna do the trapdoors on this one because I oh, didn't mean to knock that out. Uh, I don't want to fully repeat the one that's over there, the smaller one. So let's grab some fences. Where's my food? Uh, do I have anything else on my inventory that I could use or drop off? Don't need this. All right, let's see what we got in our basement. A fence. I should probably make more fences. Ah, uh, spruce or I suppose I can introduce a third color. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with the default for now. Yeah. Uh, probably need a little bit more than that. That's fine. Anything else I need to add here? I don't need those torches at the moment. Make it creative with any other wood block. Let's let's see what we got options uh, crafting wise. Composter, I mean, I could technically, maybe as a pillar, no. Mm. Bubble stone or stood stone wall might work, could be used for something. Ooh, actually, I just got an idea. Let's grab a little bit of those, a little bit of those. That's all fine. Oh, uh, I wanted to, now nah, I can, I'll deal with those later. I just remembered walls can be waterlogged. So what if we do 
Add that. All right. Okay, that I'm, I might might like this. Here's my water bucket. Mm, why do they have to connect? <laughs> this one's not bad. I mean, we'd do something with that up there. Does that look weird? It kind of does. All right, we'll go back to where we had it. Sometimes you just got to experiment, so go back to this. Spruce, oh, wrong way. Spruce on that, oak underneath. But we might be able to play around with this up here a little bit. What if we added those instead? Oh uh, no, I kind of like that. that. That's looking all right. Not the highest grade of materials, but do you have any stone on me? I do. Let's add a couple of um. I don't know what you want to call these, uh, where they've been nailed there, you know, maybe the stone block is hollow connection on the bottom, like a loop. They push it in, shove in a sort of a stud to keep it, uh, in place. So we'll go ahead and do that. No, oh, this one doesn't, no, that's fine. That's fine. Now. Oh, I don't have... Okay, that's fine. Still playing around. Let's raise this and give it a roof. Oh, or jump into the water. That's fine. Jump. Oh, God. Ah, uh, give me a block. Uh, too high, three high. Might be just enough. I don't want it a skyscraper. Yeah. And then give it a, a slight overhang of a roof. You know, keep the person out of the elements. I think we can do that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go with spruce for right now. Um, might do something similar patchwork. Right to keep a theme going. Uh, of course, I just removed all my blocks. Here's my cobblestone. We'll just use you. Now, do I want? I'm looking at this. At what height do I want? Because I don't want visibility to fully be blocked. Is that too much? Or is that gonna work? Ooh, that might be that might be too much but we're gonna do it if you don't like it I can always replace it so if I come across ooh, how about we get creative uh, yeah 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 okay I can play I can make this work uh, I need to come on this side jumping around all over the place right now. <clears throat> Come up. No, that's not the right way. Give me that back. That there. Okay, and then I went this way. Okay. And then on top of here, I'm going to do this. Maybe what we do is actually bring this all the way across. All right, and then with the half slabs, 
we go. Oh, no, 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 wrong spot. Go here and here, right? So there's a little bit of a, a raise to, to that area. That way line of sight's not fully blocked. So when you're standing here, you can see, well, <laughs> other than my hideous cobblestone uh, scaffolding that I got in place now. All you. Yeah, yeah, I think that works. Even let's take a look during the daylight. Okay. So I want that same design on this other side, and I'm going to need more spruce logs or spruce stairs. I don't have a whole bunch of spruce on me. That's probably not going to be enough. Let's see if we can make that work. So same thing, this here. This stair there. I'm just gonna go all the way across so I can just get this in place. Uh, that there. This upside down. We got half slabs coming across. Uh, full stair over here. Now, what do we? How do we want this peak? What does it look like if I do two upside down stairs there? Looks kind of weird. What happens if we make it come inside a little bit? Uh, that's doable. Do the same thing on this side. Please place right. Sweet. And then we can do reverse. Uh, yes. And I'll show you why I'm doing that in reverse in a second. Oh, one one stair short. Why? Uh, one more. I just need one stair for this, just to see if it's working. Now, in which direction did I make this? This way? Yeah, let me just put it upside down, or right side up, when I need it upside down. Okay. Come down here, ow. So, now I've got detail on the ceiling part, the under um, side of this. Right? You get the highlight on the edges there. That way it's not just a, a flat block going all the way across. And then let's see if we can do something with these trap doors up here. Oh, hey. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. Okay, just going to do this. I know you're not going to be able to see it from the ground, but when I've got structures up there, um, this is a level of detail I like to just have on the, on the roofs. It does again. You're tr I, I'm trying to avoid everything being flat. So let's see what this looks like now. All right, from this side, I have to play around with these edges. I don't like the full contrast we got going on there. It's, it's a bit bright. Okay, so head on. I, li I like. Oh, I, I do like that. So you got a little bit of detail up there. You've got the sort of the support beams underneath there. It's quaint. I think it works. We come over here. Let's. Well, you always want to step away from whatever you build, right? How does it stand out? Coming up here. What's the first thing people see? Other than my house. Come up here, this is what they see. Yeah, see, that works. Let's 
Yeah, we'll do something with the roof. <clears throat> I'll add probably a couple of patches. Uh, kind of stick with this theme I've got going on this roof, right? Whether this is like if you bought a brand new bridge from like, <laughs> I don't know, Home Depot or something like that. It's a bridge in a box. Um, and you just open it up, has a new plastic rubber smell to it, and you just built it. This is your new jungle gym for, for your kids in the back backyard. Everything looks pristine. What happens to it about a year after? You know, it's weather worn, scratches on it, people, you know, opening and closing doors or whatnot. So uh, I like to weather a lot of the builds um, that I do, especially for the theme that I've got going here. So I think this pristine new bridge is fine for now. And I'll come through, uh, change out some of the woods, <clears throat> maybe even change out uh, a couple of the st uh, co cobblestone walls with uh, stone brick ones. Maybe I just didn't have... I don't know, which wouldn't make sense of what, what I'm about to say. I didn't have enough cobblestone laying around. Mm, yeah. All right. And what about lighting? Can we do anything in here with lighting? It's a shallow ceiling. It's not going to really stick, stick to that. And I built on an even number. So none of these favor putting anything where it doesn't look offset. However... How about I just, can I, uh, on the ground doesn't make sense. But actually I don't want it up front. Let's put one back there. Just as a little bit of lighting. We'll see a little bit more with the shaders um, at night. I don't want this to be overly bright. It's supposed to be kind of intimate, right? Get the view over the pond. Walking off, seeing the cottage structure is going to be here. Um, maybe another building, maybe a, a grain silo of some sort, um, maybe a small shop can go here. I think this works. Then you come across here and I want this path to wrap around this direction to wrap around here. So I'm gonna have to remove all this. And let me do that now, just so it's a little more open. Because this is, I want the path to go to our uh, sort of wood, wood mill, saw mill over here. And this is all gonna be replaced as well. This is gonna be, again, this all was temporary because when I first came over here, I needed food. So that's what that's why that's still there. Okay. Let's clear this area out a little bit. Uh, might as well just pick this up. Okay. Uh, put some temporary lighting down so I don't get random creepers spawning over here. Uh, my little totem pole can stay there for now. Anything weird and wonky with this bridge over here on this side. Support beams look like they're, they're fine. Uh, let's see, this is where I start futzing with things again. If I do place those two. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Let's do the same thing on this side. out of freaking stair again <laughs> oh, I've got enough to make another one all right uh, perfect see it no longer is it just flat coming straight across right now it looks like it's there's a couple of support beams kind of sticking out and because it's a stair You've got a little bit of a depth to that again. And that works out really nice. Oh, did I pick up that block? No. Oh, let me in here. Let me, oh, okay, got it. Yeah, that's uh, that's, yeah, that, that's totally where I wanted to put that block. Uh, can I actually reach down there without doing weird? Okay. Yeah, see, 
no longer just a flat surface it does it, it's it gives it uh a little bit of it, well depth obviously but it also gives it a little bit of a oh it, it makes it look like it's not floating anymore it's grounded now do we want to do any changes to this so if i bring cut this in and do that ignore the, the dirt there nope that doesn't look good nor does that all right i think we're gonna stick with that for now Uh, do we want to change this so they're not just a straight stair? What does this look like? Now, see, then it's to me, this line here, I don't want this to come all the way out. That looks like a tripping hazard, so I don't want that there. I think our best bet is actually having this. Right, and all this looks good. I can't can't do the weird corner bend on that because I don't have another stair to match up with that, but that still looks okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna stick with. I think this is our we got our main bridge right off this little off our main path here got a nice view of our pond there's still stuff that's we built on this side so ignore this side of the screen we'll do like this nice view on this side you get the small crossing um, bridge you get the little view of the uh, bamboo forest that's going to be built over there uh, and because this rock here so, you know, it all, you, what you're doing is you're getting a peek around this um, and not a full reveal, which I kind of like. Uh, this stuff needs to, still needs to be built up. We'll have to figure something out for that. But that works. I'm now going to change gears. All right. Wanted to get those two bridges. I want to dig a hole <laughs> or rather a room for. Excuse me. Close. Thank you. Um, for sugar cane and bamboo, um, need to get those automated. So let's step away from uh, building uh, just a little bit. Uh, drop all this stuff off. I need sticks. I'll add stone detail later. Not too worried about that. Mm, gravel goes in here. Same with andesite. I'm about to pick up a whole bunch of. Oh, I need some more water. Don't have coal on me. Not that I need it per se, but I like having it on me. Yeah, I, yay for dumping all the inventory random stuff. I don't need grass blocks. Watch me need them. All right, wood low on oak. I should probably use the uh, the tree farm. We'll need to make sure I get a healthy collection of saplings. Because the tree farm doesn't really help with producing saplings. It is purely meant to create logs. Alright, uh, I won't need my shovel. Let's go with uh, Silk Touch Primary. Okie dokie. Let's come over to the little pocket room. And let's clear this area out. Because this is where the sugar cane and bamboo is going to be. So, uh, let's see. Stairs coming down. I need to do something with a roof. Let's take you down just a little bit more. Mm, I don't want to probably fill this room up so let's just take this staircase down a little bit do 
right about here-ish. Is that going to give me enough room because height? Where's ground level? Going higher than this? Okay. <laughs> Take <laughs> soothing Minecraft playing. Yeah, um, I don't know how long you've been around. Um, I built uh, some pathing stuff, some bridge stuff. Um, you can kind of see it poking up right there. Um, I am currently digging a little hole to see about making a sugarcane and bamboo farm for myself. And the reason why it's underground um, is because I'm doing automation. Whoa, check out that weird lighting. I'm doing pretty well. I'm just just taking it easy. Um, I know Pinko and I plan on streaming a little bit later on Raft. We're getting close to finishing off that game and uh, figured I've got a little bit of free time in my hand and wanted to stream Minecraft. Uh, do I like that? No, we're going to bust this out a little bit further. All right, let's clear you all, all this out. Now the question is, how big do I want this? I think because this is still our starting area that we're kind of building in, I'm not going to go crazy. I know a lot of folks who are watching um, don't realize what I'm talking about, um, but I know Tinks, who's also in here, um, who um, who's my, my other better half, um, has seen me build some outrageous contraptions. Um, I'm a big fan of automating things, so... Yeah, uh, Tink, I don't know if you met Tinks. <laughs> Tink, meet Tinks, Tinks, meet, meet Tink. <laughs> Tinksy, excuse me. Hey, gravel. Aww. Let's, uh, how, I'm trying to think. I need to make sure I have enough room. So, the ceiling height's going to be important because I need to make sure I've, I can build up and have room for redstone. So I'm going to use that as a gauge or just have gravel fall on my head. That's fine. Let's go with this height. Can I reach that? Yes. That is our ceiling height. I think that'll work. Uh, bamboo and sugarcane. Well, I'm not necessarily sugarcane, but bamboo farms tend to be need a little bit of room on on height, um, especially since I want to use uh, uh, mine carts to pull, uh, collect the the pieces that get uh, pushed off, um, rather than water streams. That way, I'm not avoiding any loss. I don't have entities just waiting on the ground. It do it does mean the contraptions tend to be a little bit taller. And I'm, right now I'm just trying to get a basic shape. So come down our little, our little side path. Mm, we got one, two, three, four. So I make it two wide collection area with rails. Right. And I'm going to need at least, at least three blocks um, further back here. Gives me two more spots for redstone and a small little path run, run behind it just in case I need to troubleshoot something. Now what's gonna be funny if I dig out further that way, I uh, I hit the chicken cooking, automated chicken cooking room, um, which would be kind of neat because you know if I'm down here doing stuff I can grab chicken really quickly. Okay, let's just clear this out. I know this is not overly entertaining. Um, it is Minecraft. Lots of Minecraft does require knocking out blocks. I need to make room to the areas that I need to build into. A beacon would be really nice. I really should look at seeing about finding another fortress. Get lucky with some uh, wither skeletons. Get uh, three skulls, pop up a wither, get a wither head drop, or uh, 
Another star drop. Make a beacon. God, that's a lot of step <laughs> steps to get a beacon. And then on top of that, have enough materials to make a beacon uh, pyramid. Which I might actually have now. Oh, Cole, you're... You're tempting me up there. Alright, let's get this removed. And then we need to do a little bit of building around... I think I'm going to start with bamboo. Um, reason for that is bamboo could be used as a fuel source um, in furnaces. Uh, while not the most efficient, um, it does grow incredibly fast, so I'm not opposed to playing around without it. I'll probably have to knock it out a little bit further that way, but this at least gives us a start. And I get to use the rails um, that I picked out from uh, Tinksy's uh, mine, that she, the mine shaft that she wanted me to light up uh, a couple streams ago. So that works. All right, let's go. Uh oh, sounds like glitter worms having some issues. Your dog went through the nether. <laughs> oh. You can use meat or, um, or what's the best way? Set them on follow. Walk past the portal. There we go, let's see if that... Where I picked that up, okay. Okie dokie, uh, with that, I want... Let's, this is eventually going to be a wall. I'm just gonna do this for now. And I know uh, folks are like, well, you just mine that up. Why do you want to fill it back up? That is because I like to work with an empty pallet. So this will be actually the room because this is going to, I'm going to use this as a hallway. And I think on that side, I'm going to make the sugar cane. Um, while on this side, I'll make the bamboo automation. That way, when you come down here, um, you get you get you're greeted a little bit with with entryways, so that works for me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I can put it against this wall. All right. Got him. Got to go a little bit further back. Need room. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that works. And maybe I can put the uh, pumpkin and melon farms down here too. We'll see where where I actually want to place it. Uh, the the gardens above the ground. Um, and if they're near here, I'll just kind of connect them all. But uh, for now, let's just stick with with one thing at a time. So knock that out. Ow. Thank you, Gravel. Appreciate it. Always wanted you to fall on my head. Yeah, um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, building uh, farms above ground unless it's the theme that I'm building towards. Uh, like a I don't know, an industrial area or something like that. Um, otherwise, I'm a big fan of hiding my farms underground. They're not the, they're great for what they do, but generally they're not, they're not pretty. So they are 
Definitely form over, over uh, function over form. Come on. At least this is going faster than having a uh, an iron pickaxe. Sounds like Glitter's making another making a library um, as well. Maybe we can do a book a book exchange. You know they're doing the the uh, uh, Viking theme. Maybe they have different uh, likes and books. I'm all about you know just coming up with a story with with builds. I think it's one of the uh, beauties about Minecraft, right? You, you it, Minecraft by itself. Not there's not much to it other than you know it's it's a virtual Lego blocks essentially. Um, but there's not a huge story. There isn't a, um, you know, a story mode. Well, uh, let me rephrase that. There is, you know, survival one up, but that that's what it is. It's a survival building game. Um, Got to use a little imagination, fill in the blanks. Um, why are you playing Minecraft? Why is your character running around this world? Why is your character punching blocks of wood for that matter? Have some fun with it. Doesn't always have to make sense. Alright, so I need rails, redstone, oh, I'm bringing, I'm, uh, I need a lot of stuff is what I need. I'll grab some tea. Okay, All right. I've got about um, 50 minutes, so I'm going to probably, yeah, about 50 minutes, see how much more progress I can make, um, and then I will probably call it a stream. I do have, um, I'm streaming actually again this evening with American Pinko, uh, anyone who is listening in, if you're not familiar with him, he's one of my good buddies, uh, we've known each other for years, um, we do a lot of shenanigans together, um, and we kind of started the adventure on doing Twitch streaming together, uh, just to have some fun. Um, it's not our main source of income or anything like that. Obviously, we're not. We don't have that huge amount of followers. We're we're just having fun with it. So, uh, anytime we see some new folks join join our streams and hang out with us, that's the beauty of of hanging out on Twitch, right? Um, make some new friends, have a good time. Uh, mostly, is he and I making fun of each other. Uh, all right, let me drop this stuff off. Ooh. Sure, I didn't realize. That's right, I had silk touch. Oh my, my stone block box is filling up. Yeah, I mean that's how we met uh, Tink. She, uh, well, I guess technically you found us, um, and uh, we're just helping each other out where we can. <laughs> BFS for life. It's more more so that somehow we've managed to tolerate each other and have not strangle each other is, is the best way to describe uh, Pinko's and I's relationship. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, andesite goes in there, stone, 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 uh, oh, where did that stone go? I am out of, so I might have to drop some of this off the mine shaft, which is fine. I don't really want to add more chests in this, right? Um, form over function in here. All right, uh, da -da, I don't really need any of that right now. Do I need any wood in my build? Um, no, not really. Where did I put my pistons? I know I made tons of pistons. Where in the world did I drop those off of? All right, a couple of those, a couple of that. I'm going to need so much more stuff. I already know it. Yep, yep, yep. You know what? I'm just going to drop you in here just so I have you somewhere else instead of my inventory. I do need the rails. We'll need iron. Mm, going to need power rails. Yep. Wait, do I have any hoppers in here? No. Well, that'll give me enough redstone. 
going to need another bucket. Where's my bucket? Of water. I make an infinite stream so I'm not constantly going back and forth for the water. This one, this one, observer, observer. Anything in here? Do I need this? No, this is all good. Let's get a bucket of water. All right, that'll help. Uh, glass. Glass would be nice, although not required. Not a lot of glass. Do I have any sand? Not a lot of sand, but I don't use sand for a lot of things, so I'm just going to go ahead and smelt that up. That can be waiting for us when we come back here. Love the rain sounds. Plus it looks kind of cool with the shaders on. All right, uh, let's go to our makeshift little room. Yeah, we're going to put that there for right now. All right, let's place down just temporarily so I can have infinite water. Water there. And there. Pick that up. Hey, give my blocks back. Okay, uh, let's put down the inner chest because I do need the stone and I need to make a crafting bench. Uh, none of this is really going to make sense over in this corner. I just need a quick place to drop stuff. Uh, and a site. Don't really care for that. I still make this? I can. Works. Okay. Not efficient, but it works. We need a place to drop off our stuff. So. I am going to first create a simple little. Uh, actually, that's redstone torch. Um, redstone torch. A little area to, to uh, for the minecart to drop off things. Um, so redstone torch. I need a repeater here. I need to. That needs to be a comparator, which I'm missing. Oh, quartz crap! Forgot the quartz. Let's go get the quartz. All right. Oh, quartz. And since we've got an inner chest over there, I can drop that off from there. And because I'm using stone, because I don't like their stone bricks as sort of a, I guess, a placement block. And they just make some extra one of those, toss those into the inner chest since I got one over there. Uh, don't need you, don't need you. Why? Oh, right, that's full. I am gonna need... Oh, I got no, I got enough to make more sticks, so that's fine. I have a feeling that I will need an extra stack of iron. Hmm... Is that going to work with some block? All this should be fine. Uh, I'm going to toss this into the blast furnace just again. I don't have to sit there and watch it. That's still going. I'm going to grab some of that. And now we can head back. Watch, I will still forget something. When I go over there and notice I'm missing it.
Okie dokie. So first, oh, oh, another quartz out. Let's make a carrier real quick. Um, I'm going to need to make hoppers. Oh, which means I need to make chests. Actually, we need to make quite a few of those. Mm, for now, I only need, let's make two hoppers. Okay, that's all good. All right, uh, chest, chest. So let's put you down here. So the chest just needs to be placed here. This is good. Hopper can be there. So Hopper's going into the chest. I need to read whether or not something is in this Hopper by using a comparator. So it's off. I put something in it. See how it turned on? Here, I'll do something larger. So it's going through. Right, and as long as something's in that hopper, that comparator turns on, which means it's sending a signal to this block, this redstone torch, which is normally on, gets turned off. Because when a redstone torch gets a signal, um, it turns off. The moment this turns off, you'll see it uh, in a second. Just let that count through. There, hopper's empty, right? No signal from the comparator, no signal going to the block. Redstone torch turns back on. Now, redstone torch, because it's under this block, is um, powering this, which means the block, the, the anything in, um, next to it, in this case the repeater, sends a signal to this block. This block doesn't do anything. That's how that little circuit ends. Right, so now, with that, so if you're asking, why the hell did I do that? Why, why, I mean, why do I want to put something in here? Why do I want to detect if something is in there? Why do I want to turn this off? Why, why any of that? Well, that is because... Oh, rail. Let's see. That is because we want to use a powered rail. Push this down here. And I'm just going to put this over here as an example so you can see how this is going to work. Let's knock that out. Let's some block to power that rail, right? Um, and put a block there. Okay. So notice it's red, right? That is because this redstone torch powering this block. This block is sending signal to the repeater. Repeater is sending it to this block. This block is powering this rail. So if I put stack in there, right? I'm reversing, I'm turning off that signal now, which means that is turned off. Um, which means, let's, let's do this. And rails can be powered in sort of in a chain, so that kind of works. Now, let me make a minecart. Actually, it's going to be a minecart with a hopper in it. This is, that's the whole point of what I'm trying to make here. So this is currently powered. Let me get my blocks out. So this will go and go back and forth. That's his entire job right there. Right. But if this is pow if this is unpowered, this um, that my, uh, my, uh, hopper minecart is going to stop on top of that hopper. So I'm going to try putting a stack. Watch. Oh, see. If you look in here. It's going, well, actually it's better looking than the chest. You can see it's depositing its uh, contents that's in that cart. Now the question is whether or not I built this right, and we'll see if this actually fires off. <laughs> Tink, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm making a minecart deliver. There you go. So on an empty minecart, this is going to be collecting my bamboo. So right now, there's nothing in the minecart. It just goes back and forth, back and forth. I'll do another quick example. If I put 16 oak planks in here, the moment it gets up to this hopper, it stops it. This is what this entire contraption does. 
Let's see. Now it emptied. It keeps on going. I.e. hands-free item collection. So now I'm going to take that down and I'm going to expand this because let's see, I'm going to just use some, um, where's my cobblestone? I need to make sure. All right, I'm going to put this back down real quick because I need to make sure the mine cart does not get blocked. Uh, let's do that, that there, that there. I have a block there. Are you going to get stopped? No. I have a block there. Aha. Okay, so that's my limit. That's how far I got. I got to keep it away from that. That's fine. I will use that as a mark. Oh, <laughs> just truck. Thank you for collecting the cobblestone that, that fell on the ground. I appreciate it, cart. Okay. Um, Which means I want... This P, that block, and this block are gonna be dirt. Or actually, just this block. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I have to knock this back further. That does give me a good idea on how far that that's, that needs to be. So let's do. I need dirt on me. See, I knew I forgot something. I need dirt. No, you know, don't need to use the bridge I just built <laughs> earlier in the stream. All right, grab in some dirt. That way, bamboo can actually grow on it. You know what? Let's make it look nice. We'll go with grass. And I need to grab bamboo. We'll stick some underneath the diorite. No inventory. I need. Uh, we did have folks on the server talk about, uh, we're looking at maybe coordinating an end dragon fight. Um, ha have some fun doing that. Um, not quite sure when that's happening. Um, that's why no one's rushing around, um, killing the ender dragon or, uh, having shulker, shulker boxes or elytras yet. Uh, those will come probably at a later date. Okay, so this will give me... Uh, hey Bonanza, how's it going? When are we playing the kids? What? <laughs> or... Yeah, that, that did come out a, a bit wrong. <laughs> so how big do I want this? One, two, three, four. Let's go with... Five, six, let's go with eight. <laughs> right. Oh, you're talking about grounded. Um, the honey, I shrunk the kids uh, type of game. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we feel I keep having to recount this. It feels like a miscount somewhere. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's eight. All right. And then I need two blocks out so I can walk around this just fine. Uh, Bonanza, I didn't know if you were interested in playing that game or not. I know um, Pinko and I do want to want to play that. We're right now just trying to see if anyone in the group is actually interested in playing. Um, yeah, so Tink, um, the minecart won't cut stuff above it. The minecart rate um, will collect stuff that's above this. So to give you an example, um, this is how minecarts, hopper minecarts work because there's a hopper inside of it. So if I come up here, right, 
and I drop block. Watch it get collected. And I'm going to drop a lot of them. So I just collected those. See how it stops there? It's dropping all the blocks that I just um, placed up there. So that's um, hopper minecarts can um, pull uh, from items above a block. So above here, I'm going to have the bamboo growing. Um, and I'm going to have pistons that push and break the, the bamboo, which will fall onto the ground, onto this grass block. And then I have this lovely uh, collection point there. And what am I doing? When I'm on this end, I'm just trying to give myself a little bit more room. <laughs> All right, Bonanza, I'll catch you later. All right, let's. Uh, well, conveniently, I have an empty chest here that is totally why I put this on. Put this here on purpose. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. I did want to put this eight across. Let's give myself a little bit more headroom. All right, come on. You can do it. Clear all this out. Perfect. Yeah, and Tink, um, this is just one one of the many ways of automating stuff. Um, even the way I'm doing it, I'm sure someone's found a more efficient way of doing it. Um, but this is going to work for what I need. And then, uh, honestly, a lot of the farms out there in Minecraft that you can automate, um, I mean, there's some things you can't, not, at least not easily. But uh, once you got a certain certain farm build or contraption, whatever you want to call it, um, a lot of times it applies to the other things that are out there that you can do the same thing with. Like, like I said, you, I could this setup I'm about to build, I could do this with a sugar cane. And then when I build the uh, melon and pumpkin farms, you're going to see the, uh, similar elements and themes on you know pieces and parts. That's why when building a contraption like this, Ignore the fact all this is linked together. You start with what you need. So these four blocks do one thing, right? This minecart does one thing. Uh, the Even the growing of the plants, that's one thing. The detection of the plants is one thing, right? And you kind of just chain them together. And then at the end, you know, when you have someone joining your stream and like you were saying, it's like, oh, your, your mind's kind of blown because, you know, you turned away and you, and you have a whole contraption. Um, all it is because you built it right you know all the all the small parts that made the bigger picture well see that's kind of how i break it break down a lot of things like i, I like working on cars engines you know that intimidates people um to me it's just a whole bunch of lego blocks put together so you take it all apart <laughs> it's not nearly as, as intimidating when you look at the individual parts it all together people are like i'm not i'm not opening up the hood i i don't want to touch anything under the hood i mean if you think about it let's let's let's, let's talk about a washing machine right it does magical things by by cleaning our clothes but a lot of people don't understand how they work and they don't want to take one apart rightfully so right they, they got a warranty they they got someone, they either they can fix it themselves, which is fine, or, you know, they got someone else to fix it. But honestly, you, just, you take it apart, it's all individual parts. You know, they all do one thing really good. <laughs> and there's ex exceptions to the rule, like duct tape. That does more than one thing really good. <laughs> it's the answer to everything. All right, let me drop this off, collect all my trash on the ground. So I only want this eight wide. Uh, where did my building blocks go? Okay, eight wide. We're gonna cap it off there, and so I can just make this consistent. How wide do I want this? Hmm.
Well, I could have some fun and do something totally different with this. <laughs> Even different from the design I had in my creative world. Um, okay, I'm going to do a little test. I don't know if this actually works or not. Live testing. Put a block there. Where's my piston? Uh, grows there. If I put one there, right? Uh, redstone torch. Can I power that just by? Okay, redstone torch there. That makes sense. Now, if I place a bamboo there, let that grow. Come on, you can grow. I mean, I mean, if you're think if you're not in that situation, I mean, you're not excluded to this, right? I mean, there's things that I don't look at that way as well, even after the ex giving that explanation. I mean, that's the whole point of really meeting other people and kind of, kind of learning off their experiences. Now, bamboo, I know I put you on the spot. But I do really need you to go to this block right here. I need I need to test test something. You can do it. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, here I'll give you a little bit of light. How about that? That looks like a mini Christmas tree. <laughs> I just need you to grow a block. Do you need water? I actually don't recall if they need water or not. No, no, they don't, because I've got that bamboo forest out there. Right, you know what? You're, you're going to make me have to make uh, two of them just because you need a buddy, right? You need you need a buddy to grow? Come on, take each other on. What do you need to grow? Come on. Grow. You can do it. Right, what happens if I turn away? I empty stuff in the chest. You know, take my time. I don't need some of this. I can drop this off. And then you grow. Oh my god. Just... Okay, fine, fine. Alright. If I give this one... Entice this one with water. Right. Really? Guys? I think my bamboo's broken. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing right now, because I know... Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Finally. Okay. So what I wanted to test is how it behaves if I break this... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this piston down, right? Does it break this top stock only and leave the bottom one? It does. Okay. Hmm. I could do something with that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. How would that work? So again, test breaks, drops the lift back up. Can I compact this even more than what I was originally planning? Okay, so space, right? Right here for the bamboo. I need a space for it to grow. Uh, and then piston to push down. But, 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 I need to detect when it actually grows. So, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a nook back here. Where's my observer? Uh, this way. Or can I have the observer on top? I mean, that would work too. But that means I would have to run a different line somewhere else, um, which I don't want to do. So, 
now I'm just talking out loud. I'm, I'm visualizing in my head right now how this is actually going to work. Okay, so if block, you know, block there, block there, it will. Hmm. Okay, so I know that that's detecting a block as being the the air in front of it has changed state. So a signal is coming out of back here. So I need to put redstone down back here. The question is, can I do this? Does that work? Can I just save myself a whole bunch of space? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. And now I made an infinite noise machine. <laughs> not what I want to do. And the reason why that's happening with the observer, uh, because the I placed that block there, it shot a red zone signal, right? right here, I'll, I'll demonstrate again, just so folks can see this. Oh, and of course, just place it backwards. It's all good errors. Okay. If I, this block, this air, empty airspace, right, right, right in here. Um, if it gets, um, changes in any way the observer detects it that's the whole point of the observer block once it detects it it shoots out in its butt a little redstone signal all right this little red connector now um, in this case i got redstone um wow uh, co uh, copper redstone powder down and what i did was then connect it with another one above it so block changes here observer detects it and it powers this redstone line back here, which, because I have this redstone line running above it, powers the piston. Great, right? So that means piston pushes down the block. All sounding good. Problem is now the observer sees that the piston arm is there, which means it changed that area again in front of it, which means it fires off another signal, which means it will then retract and re it, will, it will constantly do this in a loop. Um, and that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, but it was worth a shot. But, 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 I could, could do something else. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is actually put the piston, I put the piston here. Oh, nope, nope, didn't mean to break that. What we're going to do is put the piston here. Put the observer on top of it. Uh, I want it facing this way. Okay. So now if the block, the area in front of the observer um, uh, is uh, changed, it will fire off um, a signal, right? Same as before. Nothing's nothing has changed in that aspect. Uh, so we're going to open this up a little bit so I can walk around. However, we don't uh, that. Wait, I'm, uh, let me before I say this. OK, so nothing's changed. Nothing is firing. The piston isn't changing because it's these two aren't connected. So to do that. I need to power the block behind the, I need to power this block. So change the block, change the block in front of the observer. Aha. Right. And if I remove it, that's considered changing it. It fires off because let me stand on this. That's firing off a signal, right? Redstone there. It's powering this block. Uh, which uh, actually I don't know if it's technically I'm not going to get into it yet. I know uh, folks that have played Minecraft there's some quasi quasi connectivity that happens in Minecraft um, this may not be that instance or maybe but I'm not going to for people who aren't familiar with it I'm not going to get into it in other words this powers that that powers that and which means the bamboo that uh, is growing gets chopped right down to the, the original stem That's pretty, that's pretty straightforward on that. However, I want to move this back one block. And I want two rows of bamboo growing. All right, so we're going to do this and cap it there. Uh, I need to pull this wall back a little bit so I can place the pistons and observers. 
Also, let me put some lighting down because it's dark in here. Okay. Knock you back. Uh, actually, to here. Easy peasy. Alright, uh, um, yeah, that looks good. And since bamboo doesn't need water, I don't have to worry about that, which is nice. Um, I will need a line here. Actually, you know, I brought glass for a reason. I wanted this to be, uh, visible. So let's do this. That goes there. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to clear out the uh, the stonework that's on this side. Okay, uh, I need the pistons. Okay. So I'm making two rows of uh, bamboo that's going to grow here. Oh, next thing's gonna be expensive. Um, okay, so. I know I'm gonna dig this back out, but it's just gonna be easier to place the observers. Okay, that's one, two. Let me make some more. Wait, what am I missing out of that? Don't I have cobblestone on me? Where's my cobblestone? Ah, uh, crap. Okay. At least I can place one more of these right now. Um. So yeah. So what I'm doing now is tiling it. So ignore these two over here. Just to pay attention to these three. Remember, that was my stone. There's my piston. There's my observer. I'm gonna do the same thing. Pass the signal down to the the piston it breaks the bamboo that's going to be living right there and it drops it that's it what i'm doing now is just repeating that pattern on both sides over and over again and this is where you know a lot of times when people are like well i don't understand you know uh, redstone or the contraption oh again remember think of small parts so think of just the the oh, let me go back to the end over here just these three blocks are, is going to be what's doing all the work. And I'm just repeating it, copying and pasting it all the way down the line. I already, you, I, there's nothing special about bamboo growing, right? You just put them on dirt block. Well, how do I need to collect it? Well, I need to, again, breaking it, just this part right here, right? I need a mine cart underneath it. I need to collect it. I need to stop it and collect it. And I need a chest. All right. Enough blathering. Let me go and get my cobblestone. Running, running, running. Uh, I haven't done anything with the mill uh, for anyone uh, tuning in. I am. I need to still come up with a color palette for that. All right, let's go down here. Okay. I'm going to double check. I, I have no cobblestone in there because I keep still touching everything. Perfect. Let me just put a stack or two in here. Maybe just stack or three. While I'm over here, I might as well make the observers. What am I missing? Oh, right, I need to do that. Uh, what am I? What am I short on? Cobblestone. Okay. Well, like, conveniently, I just grabbed another stack of cobblestone. Oh, that's, that's, I can't make too many observers. There's no such thing. I use observers for a lot of the contraptions. So if I ever overproduce in a one session, I'm going to use them in another build. So I'm totally cool with that. Make my way back over here. I'm up here. Let's drop these guys off. Uh, we don't need this line here. We'll need a line at that level, so we're going to knock this back just a little bit further. 
And by the way, the reason why I didn't like build this in the middle of the room because I actually want to make two make two of these. Um, so once I get this one up and running, I will make another one on this side. Um, is it overkill? There is no such thing in Minecraft. Uh, it just means that I get I have a lot of reserves of the same thing, which means less manual mining or manual gathering or whatever you want to call it. All right, uh, where's my stone? So this stone piece here, right, is going to uh, keep knocking down my support. It is going to hold all. Let me just throw that. Oh my, oh my God. Come on, my, what? Give me, give me my stone. <laughs> this, the, uh, a few issues there. All right, so redstone back here. So observer, right, again. Detect something in front of it. Signal behind comes out of its butt right there. Powers this block, which powers this piston. Repeat. Uh, eight times over on this side. Yep, now we're going to do the same thing on that side. Uh, I do want to clear this out. And we're gonna put some light up there to prevent. I don't think mobs can spawn on the top of observers, but I don't really don't want to find out. All right, uh, let's put an end cap on this. Uh, we need this line here. Redstone on the back of these. The observers on top of the pistons. Perfect. Oh, let's collect that stuff. So now we've got our growing chamber. Grows, grows up to the piston level, grows up to the observer level. Observer goes, oh my god, something's in front of my face. I need to poop out redstone signal. It poops out redstone signal. It pushes piston. Piston breaks. Um, sugarcane still has the stalk on the bottom. It lays on the ground. Remember, we've got the cart. Yep, there's a good example of it. Cart comes in and collects everything and then drops it off. We're about to automate bamboo. All right, let me pick up some of this stuff. So what is left? Um, I need to extend this uh, line to go under both of these rows. Um, so nothing gets missed. Um, I'm a big fan of capping the ends on the on some of my contraptions so things don't get shot all over the place. So I need to make a little passage open up here. This is all going to be open to the ground or ground level. So let's do this. This all looks good. Let's open this one up over here so I can get through. That looks all good. Not missing anything. Uh, where's my torches? Oh. Right. No dark spots back here for creepers and zombies and skeletons to spawn. Nope. All right. Now I need to. I need to get the cart moving further along. Okay, so let me drop some of this off. Nope, you can stop right there. And let's extend this rail line down here. Um, I like to pass one block further. I've seen some quirkiness with Minecraft hoppers. Um, rail, or yeah, rail Minecraft. Where I now I can't say it minecart hoppers um sometimes when going around the corner if there's a um an item right in this corner um sometimes it doesn't collect it i know it's not that's not supposed to be a thing <clears throat> but i've seen it happen i'm gonna get a, a drink of tea here <clears throat> much better Oof, sorry about that uh the reason why i'm kind of ripping off some of, ripping up some of this is i want to make it look nice uh the reason why i do this is sometimes in very compact spaces 
um, let's say I build another contraption somewhere underneath here and I start digging through. Um, if I leave all this stone and andesite whatnot, I might dig through some redstone powder that, or redstone line that I put down. So the way I use the way to identify if I'm running into another build, th this isn't going to be um, something you naturally find easily in the world or in the mountain. So uh, if I'm digging underneath this and I hit a block like that, I know that, hey, if I knock this out, I might be knocking out some redstone components. So just to visual aid, and oh my god, in the corner of my eye, I thought this was a creeper, and I was about to freak out. Oh, all right. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, don't need you there. All right, so now I can start clearing this out. And I'm a, like I said, I'm a big fan of being able to walk around whatever contraption I built. Um, allows me to reach uh, around things. Uh, like uh, if without that, I, placing a rail on that backside could be a pain in the butt. So, all right, let's go ahead and I need these. Oh, yeah, let me just spit that on the ground. No problem. Uh, where is, did I put them in here? Yes, I did. Don't need the iron right now. Do need the rails. Power, redstone, okay. We're gonna go all the way to here. This should wrap, okay. Uh, put some redstone, put a redstone block down. I'm just tossing everything right now on the ground. That can go there. This is just to give it a little bit of boost as it comes around the corner. And I suppose I can just come all the way back here now. And it just needs to go to this block here. Uh, will that I don't think that will power it, so I should be fine by doing this. Put that there. Let's some block there. Do I have any more powered rails? Where did I put those? Yep, okay. Powered rail. Uh, let's go ahead and test it with a mine cart, hopper minecart. It should be able to make it all the way around. Yes. Hit the block, bounce off. That yeah, slows down a little bit, but it still it still makes it. Right? Yeah, that's fine. And then to test it, to make sure I didn't screw anything up. Oh my god, let me just not fall on that. Uh, we're just going to uh, drop a, a stack of stone. Nope, oh, I automatically picked it up, and it should stop on that hopper. And it's depositing all the stone that it collected. And once it's done, it should go off again. Tink, have a good night. Um, good luck on your affiliate. Uh, I, like I said, I'm sure you're going to get there. Oh, all right, there we go. And it goes off. And it repeats the cycle. Perfect. All right. I guess the only thing I can... I don't really need to do anything more on this. I mean, at this point, I can just start growing bamboo. All right, where's the glass? I had I dropped this, but I did. So we're going to do the finishing touches, close this little chamber off. Mm, I should probably make some sort of staircase over here. I'm just going to do that. I don't think that slows it down, right? I mean, it does a little bit, but not enough to screw anything up. Yeah, it's fine for now. I mean, if I have problems with it later, I'll uh, I'll mess with it. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, I don't I don't need anything to pop off the top. So let's do half slabs on top of that. And I am coming close to the end of my stream, but I do want to finish this off. 
So we're going to use stone half slabs. I know I just lost a, um, some stone in that because I didn't do it in the stone cutter, but that's okay. Um, where's my cobblestone for now? So I want not there. I need it to be there. That height. We're just going to cap this off for now. One, two, one, two, and then this could be glass. And I should probably put the uh, bamboo in first. Like I said, you don't have to use glass for any of this. This is purely so I can see what's going on inside the chamber. Um, I mean, you don't even technically need to cap it off. I do recommend capping off the sides. Um, that way you don't have things just spitting out all over the place. Pistons hitting things, it's not the same all the time. Um, it can do weird things. So we now have a nice little growing chamber. Um, I'll trim the side out and make it kind of look nice. Um, maybe put some up down, up down, upside down stairs on it. Um, make it look like it's actually connected to the ground, right? Oh, look, it's already growing. So let's see if this is actually going to work. It's a race. And the way I got it, if any one of these make it to the, where the in front of the observer, uh, the entire chain of, of pistons fire off. I could, with a lot more making this contraption much, much wider, I could uh, wire it through individual pistons fire off, or at least two pistons fire off, but uh, in this case, it's not a big farm. It's not going to cause an outrageous amount of lag or anything like that, so I'm not too worried about it. I am going to put some torches on the bottom of these, though. Come on, one of you guys can do it. And I have all the bamboo. I have 48 on me, and I believe I don't have any in there, so we'll see how well this works. One, two, three, go. It's what it's like wanting, uh, watching water boil. You watch and it doesn't happen. Come on, you can do it. We're almost there. If you grow, you can grow more afterwards. And by the way, this is a prime example of why uh, I want another chamber just to kind of increase the yield overall because um, we were kind of at the you know the mercy of uh, Minecraft tick timers on when things get updated but we are seeing them grow at least for the first part I'm trying to avoid hitting the minecart I don't take damage unlike uh, Minecraft dungeons um, but it does stop it and then I have to push it again So if anything on this row grows to the, in front of the observer, that side is going to push anything on the same thing on the left side. So um, they're independent of each other. Uh, I could technically link them up, have that this redstone signal go to the other side and they all fire off at the same time. But oh, there you go. And go for it. Pick it up. Yep. And there we go. Our first harvest. There's seven. Easy peasy. So nice thing about this, I can, well, I can AFK if I want to. I'm, I usually don't do that. Um, but as I'm running around doing stuff above, right, in our little seaside, what's soon no longer a cottage, it's starting to build out, right? It's a small little town. Uh, we are, this is, will constantly be running. This will be constantly be uh, uh, growing and, and producing uh, sugar cane, for, uh, not sugar cane, but um, a bamboo for us. And like I said, I'll make one more of these chambers on this side, so I'll probably bust out this wall just a couple more blocks. Look, another collection. Oh, in this case, just one. 
Oh, one of those on the other side must have grew really fast. Um, make another one on that side. If later on and that still isn't enough when I'm still in this area, maybe I make another chamber or I'm on that side. What's happening on this side with a small modification since sugarcane works a little bit differently, just slightly, not much modification to this. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. But for our first bamboo farm, for a fresh new server, I think this is not too shabby. So I'm going to run up, get in front of our, our new little bridge, get a nice little ending shot for us, and then we can call it a stream. So let me go up here. This one, I kind of like this one not lit, so that's okay. So let me see how well this looks. Oh, I'm, wow. If I put that away, oh, that looks better. So everyone, thank you again for joining the stream. Oh my God, we're there. What, really? Right as I'm trying to end the stream? Fine. Done. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you had a good one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions on any of the streams, uh, just you're always welcome to drop me a message. And with that, have a good night. Oh, and I, uh, Pinko and I are streaming later on today, uh, or later this evening, uh, probably in about three hours or so. We'll see if we can make any more progress in Raft. So with that being said, everyone have a good one. Bye.